Good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. I'm really excited this morning because I can be outside because it's not raining. So today I picked out one of my favorite books and it's called Mouse Paint and it's by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Earlier in the month, I read a book by the same author with these cute little mice called Balancing Act. So now I'm gonna read Mouse Paint. And then after I read the book, I thought I would show you an activity that you could do for fun. And it's especially fun if you get to do it outside. So first, let's read the book, Mouse Paint. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. Here we go, blending in with the background. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. Then, there they are climbing in. One was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles look like fun. Looks like fun to me. Ooh, I see my friends from the Bats family. Hello, good morning, and hi, Evie, good morning. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle. There he is. Until, <gasps> look, he cried, red feet in a yellow puddle, make orange. Oh, that's pretty cool. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until, I wonder what's going to happen. <gasps> Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until You wonder what's it, what it's going to be? Purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white. And I want you to look closely because what are they washing themselves in? They're taking a bath in the cat's water bowl. Oops. And they painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow. And one part blue, they mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part. Yellow and blue to paint a green part, and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. Because if they're white and they go on the white paper, they can hide from the cat. The end. I hope you like that book. Now, 
like I said, wouldn't it be fun if you could do something that's kind of related to this book? So, on my table, I put some, down some white paper, and then I thought to, because maybe you don't have paint at home, so I actually made my own paint. Now, the mice use three colors, red, yellow, and blue, which we call the primary colors, because when we mix those colors together, we can make good other colors. So what I did is I put some water in my glasses and I and I added food coloring. So I have yellow, I have red, and I have blue. So again, maybe you could just do this on your deck or on your table. Maybe you don't need paper. Um, you can decide that. Now, this is what I call catapult painting because what I also have is I have cotton balls and then I have a plastic spoon so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip a cotton ball into a color and then I'm gonna stand back because I realized when I was practicing this earlier you can make these cotton balls go pretty far but the goal is is to bend your spoon back and use a plastic spoon because it's flexible or maybe you can figure something else out to launch. But the point of a catapult is to stretch it and launch something in the air towards another, towards something else. So I'm gonna stand back a little, but again, here's my colors. Let's hope that I don't launch a cotton ball on the screen at you, who knows? All right, so I'm gonna dip it in the red. I'm just going to show you a couple times because you'll get the idea. I also think that if the cotton ball is wet, it might not go as far because it's a little weighted down. But see, there I have it. And then I'm going to stand back. Here I go. I'm probably going to go off screen just because I want to make sure. Let's see if you can see it flying. And it launched. But here's my paper right here. And look how far it actually went. So maybe I should have more paper surface if I really want my cotton ball to go to get on the paper. I'm gonna try one more time. And this time I'm gonna stand back a lot further. So I'm gonna dip it in the yellow. But think about when you're doing this and you're using the three colors, wouldn't it be fun to see what kind of splats you get all over the paper and if they collide when you shoot them or launch them maybe they'll mix colors and maybe you don't do it by yourself maybe you could do it with your brother or your sister or your parents who knows you can have fun all right here i go launch number two i'm standing back really far and guess what it launched far over the paper. However, I'm still having fun. So, see there's my cotton balls far beyond, but I think you get the idea. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our story. I want you to try this kind of painting. Do it outside because it's not raining today. And then, as always, put in the comments that you tried it and maybe you can show us your painting. So thanks for joining me, everyone. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you again soon. Bye.